All right. S B one. B and C. Macromolecules. Macromolecules are organic compounds that contain carbon. All organic compounds have to contain carbon. Get off the phone! Car carbon forms single, double, and triple bonds very easily and so these compounds are able to form. Monomers are the building blocks. Mono means one. And so these are the single elements, the acids and things like that, that form chains and, form, and combine together to form the polymers or the macromolecules. The first kind of macromolecule is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are always in this form, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, in this ratio. There's always two hydrogen for every one carbon and one oxygen. For example, glucose is C6H12O6. When the main source of energy for almost every organism on the earth comes from carbohydrates, they have structural purposes in some animals but mostly plants in the cell wall and things like that. They are the mono, again, are the single ones, the simple sugars like glucose, fructose, which is fruits, fruit sugar, then that build up into polysaccharides, which are these starches and cellulose that you find in plants. Lipids are the second one. These are your fats and your oils and waxes. These are forming of fatty acids combined with carbon atoms used to store energy. So you take in a bunch of carbohydrates and you don't use them all up and these are converted into lipids to store. There's three kinds, you have saturated, unsaturated, and polyunsaturated. And these are even the same thing that you use to cook with in the kitchen, like oil, like corn oil and olive oil and all that stuff. These are not soluble in water. If you mix oil in a glass with water, it's not going to mix, they're going to separate. Which is also why these are, you, are formed in the cell membrane of a lot of things because they're waterproof. Nucleic acids are DNA and RNA. These are made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Polymers formed from the monomer's nucleotides. So the monomer, the single thing, is the nucleotides. Nucleotides get strung together and there are three things that make up the nucleotide. You got a five carbon sugar, which is either ribose or deoxyribose, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. And there's four of those, and you should know what them are. These store and transmit the hereditary information. The DNA is where the information that tells you who you are is stored. Fourth one are proteins. Proteins are made up of a carboxyl group and an amino group. These are the, these two groups on the outside are always the same. It's this one right here, the R group, that determines the different amino acid. And if it's a different amino acid, it's going to be a different protein. So these can connect because they're the same on the outside. They are polymers, which again, poly, many means that they're made up of many different things that are built by the monomer's amino acids. They're made up of the amino group, the carboxyl group, and the R group. The R group is the one that determines what the amino acid is. <clears throat> Some proteins control the rate of reactions uh, in, the, in the cell. Chemical reactions have to happen and these control the rate that those happen in. They regulate cell processes. Um, they form bones, muscles, transport material into and out of the cell. There are protein doorways if the food is too big or the waste is too big to get in or out. They have to have the protein doorway to get through them. Then, the last thing, enzymes. A chemical reaction is when one set of chemicals changes to another. This right here is the chemical reaction for your body getting rid of carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide combines with oxygen and then it forms a carbonic acid. This carbonic acid can be taken and can be dissolved in the blood and taken out of the body. Otherwise, 
you wouldn't be able to get rid of your carbon dioxide. But if you didn't have enzymes that were speeding up this reaction, you would, you would retain all that carbon dioxide and not be able to get rid of it. The enzymes are proteins that act as a biological catalyst by lowering the activation energy required to start the reaction. So that the reaction happens faster and 